Adam is not the first man. No. Adam was the first man created in the image. There was a dispensation where Lucifer was head over them. He was a representation. What Adam, what God brought man to do. There was a dispensation that Lucifer was mandated to be the revelation of God to them. And on account of that assignment, he's making angels, cherubs, were not made from dust. They were made from quantized light. Light, the depreciation of their body, but the degree to which the light upon them excels. That is the degree to which they have visited the throne room. Because every time they meet him, it's a law to both human and angels that as we behold him, we are changed. Are we together now? Yes. So, Lucifer, it was on the strength of his build-up, the dexterity of his making, that pride came upon him. Are we together? Yes. There's no time to begin to talk about Lucifer. Lucifer was that cherub, the Bible says, that covered it. He was in Eden, the garden of the Lord. The entire object of his making was it, was it was an artistry of God. And his assignment was the custodian, the light bearer. Revelations are stored as light and that was his office. The son of the morning. On account of the revelations of God that he had, he built pride and said, do you know what? If this is all that makes God God, then I have the secrets to be God. I will exalt myself above the stars of God, he said. I will be like the Most High. Treason was found in him. He wanted to run a parallel government so you can choose either God or him. And there was war in heaven. Now, don't downplay the level of Lucifer's intelligence. Even in heaven, he deceived one third of the angels. Wow. What would he have told them that made one third of the angels to literally leave their original estate? The Bible says, and there was judgment in heaven, Michael, the archangel. You see that they met again over the body of Moses. You again. They met. Michael said, don't waste my time. The Lord rebuke you. So now, it was the judgment that came as a result of the fall of Lucifer. When you read the book of Revelations, it says, Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. For Lucifer, that great dragon, has been cast into the earth. He has come with anger and fury. That's why uncontrolled anger is the most classic proof that there is a spirit manipulating you. Yes, sir. Lucifer came down to the earth with anger. And he was hovering around the face of the waters. It was the judgment of Lucifer that led to Genesis 1 verse 2. Do you understand now? So Genesis 1 verse 3 is God now bringing light. What light? This was not sunlight, I hope you know. Sunlight was created in day 4. This was the light, that the life-giving factor of creation. He withdrew it in the judgment of Lucifer. And so now, God said, Light be. That's the original Hebrew rendition. Light be and there was light and then he began to create everything and he saw that it was good and so on and so forth and then when we get to genesis chapter 1 verse 26 this is the first classic expression that proves the triune nature of god and god said let us let us so this was this was a parliament there was a meeting going on not let me let us but this does not automatically tell you whether there are three. There could be ten. Let us. So how do we know that it is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit? Are we learning? Next scripture very quickly. Matthew chapter 3, please, from verse 14. This is the baptism of Jesus. Now look up, please. A little background again about Jesus. I hope you know that Jesus came to the earth for many reasons. Principally... To be a mediator to bring many sons into glory are we together he came and as, ex, and as an expression of the love of the father this was revealed through his substitutionary sacrifice to the end that whosoever believes in him that report might receive the life of god in the flesh to show us that it was possible 
to live a victorious life the third reason why he came was to become a marking script a correction over our perceptions about god because until jesus came there were many things about god that people did not know they did not have the rich um opportunity to enjoy the ministry of the holy spirit to the degree to which we enjoy he would come upon them and then go away he did not have a permanent residence within them so they credited all kinds of things to god jesus came as god's manual god's reference point so that everything you thought god did or was you looked at the life of jesus to correct your orientation are we together now matthew chapter 3 please thank you jesus is someone learning but john forbade him saying this was jesus at the baptism now i have need to be baptized of thee and thou comest to me and jesus answering said unto him suffer it to be so now for thus it becometh us to fulfill all righteousness then he allowed him next verse now watch this and jesus the logos of god john 1 1 remember in the beginning was the word the word was with god the word was god the same was with god so we see two there the word and god the same was with god even though he was god also now the bible says and jesus so we see that jesus was there when he was baptized he went straight out of the water and lo the heavens were open and he saw the spirit of god are you seeing now so this is jesus walking on earth in the flesh the heavens open and the holy spirit descending upon him lightning upon him like a dove 17 and then a voice which is not the holy spirit this is jesus on earth this is the holy spirit coming and another third voice from heaven saying this is my beloved son whoever calls him father what should be his name whoever calls jesus son must be jesus proved that he was father when he called jesus i mean uh, god proved that he was father when he called jesus so jesus the word the spirit of the living god the father one last proof in the mouth of two or three witnesses a matter is established matthew 28 the great commission from verse 18 matthew chapter 28 from verse 18 and jesus came and spake unto them saying all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth next verse go ye therefore and teach all nations baptizing them in the name of this is jesus talking now baptizing them in the name of the father of the son of the holy ghost he didn't mention any fourth person so we know from the mouth of jesus that the godhead is trinity jesus himself spoke are you ready for one last proof acts chapter 7 this was the matthias stephen about to be stoned acts chapter 7 from verse 54 please acts chapter 7 don't be tired of learning scripture it gives you accuracy of understanding and then you are able to walk in the reality of the power and the grace of god on the strength of the spiritual illumination you have it says when they had heard these things they were caught to the heart and gnashed when they heard these things they were caught to the heart and they gnashed on him with their teeth verse 55 now the bible says but he stephen now being full of the holy ghost so who was in stephen the holy spirit he looked steadfastly into heaven what did he see the glory of god and then jesus standing at the right hand so we see the holy spirit in stephen god manifesting in his glory the father and the son standing at his right hand why am i saying this thing so that you will believe from scripture not from opinion not from charismatism from scripture if your confidence is just based on what someone said it would dwindle with time but when your faith is anchored on scripture it becomes unbending you become immovable are we together now now the word spirit comes from the latin word spiritus it means breath spiritus s-p-i-r-s-numa 
all mean the same thing these are expressions of spirit are we together so a spirit typically speaking um generally it just means the life-giving factor of anything the life-giving factor of anything is the spirit of that thing are we together Gener who is the holy spirit number one the holy spirit is god acts chapter 5 from verse 3 to 4 please the holy spirit is god this was the story of ananias and sapphira we're proving that the holy spirit is not just an archangel there are many well-meaning sincere people who have carried teachings all around the holy spirit is not an archangel the holy spirit is not a man the holy spirit is god in every way he's not junior to god he's not one of the errant people in heaven he is god in every way but peter said ananias why has satan filled thy heart to lie to the holy ghost are you seeing that now and to keep back part of the price of the land verse 4 whilst it remained was it not thine after it was sold was it not in thine own power why hast thou conceived this thing in thy heart thou hast not lied to men but to god peter now says you have lied to the holy ghost and then you have lied to god the holy ghost is god in every way number two very quickly who is the holy spirit the holy spirit is the manifestation of the presence and the power of god the holy spirit is the manifestation of the presence and the power of god he is not just the manifestation he is the revealer of the presence and the power of god the holy spirit benny Hinn calls him the unlimited presence of jesus how true based on scripture he gives omnipotence to the presence of he could only be in one location at a time but now the holy spirit has come to multiply the influence of jesus across the earth he is the continuation of the ministry of jesus but now not just localized to one man he can be everywhere at the same time so the holy spirit is a revealer he is also the manifestation of the presence of god are we learning this is very very important number three very quickly who is the holy spirit the bible calls the holy spirit the wisdom of god this is very powerful wisdom the wisdom of god isaiah chapter 11 and verse 2 isaiah 11 and verse 2 and the spirit of the lord shall rest upon him he says the spirit of wisdom the holy spirit is called the spirit of wisdom that means he is the life-giving force behind every manifestation of divine wisdom there are three levels of wisdom as the bible teaches there is wisdom that comes from above that is first pure there is wisdom that is scientific sophia that comes with experimentation and experience there is wisdom that is diabolical and demonic the wisdom we are talking about is wisdom that comes from above are we together the spirit of wisdom ephesians chapter 1 and verse 17 paul is praying now ephesians 1 and verse 17 that the god of our lord jesus christ the father of glory may give unto you the spirit of wisdom so the holy spirit is called the spirit of wisdom next point who is the holy spirit this is a very very important point i'm about to bring about the holy spirit the holy spirit is the author of scripture the holy spirit is the authentic author of scripture not just paul not just david the psalmist not just matthew mark luke and john the holy spirit is the author of scripture second peter chapter 1 please and verse 21 second peter chapter 1 and verse 21 
second peter 1 21 hallelujah you can't find it go to second timothy chapter 3 from verse 15 second timothy 3 from verse 15 and that from a child thou hast known the holy scripture which is able to make thee wise unto salvation listen carefully through faith which is in jesus christ next verse it says all scripture how many all scripture old testament the gospel acts of the apostles the epistles revelation all scripture is given by inspiration of god by inspiration of god is profitable for doctrine reproof correction instruction in righteousness verse 16 it says 17 now that the man of god may be mature and furnished unto all good works i don't know why they didn't find second peter is a mistake from me it says holy men wrote as they were inspired of the spirit so holy men only did the writing the author was god how many of you have seen people who translate the messages of others into books the translators cannot say the book is their own is that true the original person thank you second peter 1 21 for prophecy came not in the old time by the will of man but holy men spake as they were moved by the holy ghost if you help me transcribe my thoughts beloved saints we are hundred percent sure that you were blessed by the video you have just listened to do not be a part of this alone do well to subscribe share and invite someone to come and be blessed by this particular video you have just seen we love you from apostles tv